All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I got a really special treat for you guys. I got another Wilson to review, and this isn't just any other regular Wilson. This is a Wilson staff from Japan. You might be saying to yourself, well, I have an A2K that's made in Japan. Why is this glove so special? Well, this is an A2K made in Japan, but it's for the American market. So there's gonna be a different shape and a different feel to the glove. This is my DW5 A2K. It's the Daniel Norris colorway from a few years ago. And this was part of the Wilson 100 collection, which is where they just re-released their uh, glove of the month from the past. I bought this in San Diego at Charlie Rose last year. And um, I haven't broken it in that much. This is what I got on it so far. I mean, I can play catch with it, but it's not like game ready. But yeah, glove made in Japan for the American market. Um, it's gonna be a little bit different from our Wilson staff. So from the looks of it, this is a custom Wilson uh, because it comes in the box and everything. Um, I know custom Rawlings come in their own box as well. Made in Japan for the Japanese market. So this was purchased on eBay. Um, unfortunately, it's not mine. I'm breaking it in for someone. These cost $400 over in Japan, but the seller on eBay sold it for about $475. And I think that beats the flight to Japan because I, you know, I wouldn't mind paying $75 extra for a Japanese made Wilson. So let's actually open this puppy up and talk about its features. Comes in a really nice box in a dust bag. Let's see this. Oh boy, look at that. Let's uh, take a look at this, boys. Woo. Oh, this smells amazing. That's really, really nice. Wilson Staff logo, navy super skin on the back. Um, what is that, light blue embroidery, mint leather, some teal laces. This thing is really, really nice. And best of all, look at that teddy bear in the middle. Really cool. Here on the peaky, it says real glove for the outfielder. So this is an outfield glove. It says dual technology, and I'm, I'm guessing that means dual welt. On the inside of the thumb, it says pro stock leather. So I guess it's the same leather as the A2000s. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, it says here custom glove. It is a custom glove, actually. So it's not stock. I mean, it might be stock, but it might be custom. I'm not really sure. It's made in Japan, so I don't know how they do their things over there, but this Wilson staff is amazing. So I am bringing it in for so. Oh my God. I didn't even expect it to be that comfortable. Um, this is the first time I'm actually putting it on. This is really nice. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of what to say here because this is actually like I'm blown away. I've actually never felt a new Wilson staff like this. I think I might have to get one for myself. I haven't even broken it in yet, but I already know it's it feels way better than my 2000. For some reason, it feels lighter, <sighs> dude. It's like so smooth on the inside too. And my A2K feels just about the same in, in like comfortability i guess but i mean this thing is just amazing it just feels like it was put together way better damn bro that's awesome that's crazy as hell i keep talking about how light the staff is so to put things into perspective i'm gonna weigh the 12 and a half inch wilson staff with my 12 inch dw5 a2k one pound 5.4 ounces one pound 5.9 or six ounces and this is what i mean this is a smaller glove but it's still a little bit heavier Let's see the grams yeah, 621 grams. So it's a smaller glove, but it's still a little bit heavier. Like I've said in the past, I don't really care if a glove is heavier light, but if it's light and good quality, that's definitely a plus. Oh, shoot. Oh, it actually comes with a dust bag that you can like carry it around in. So when you open the box and take the glove out, you throw away all the plastic and maybe keep this, but they give you a dust bag to actually carry the glove in, which is really cool. It actually doesn't say anywhere on the glove what size it is, which is pretty interesting. At least I don't think there is anywhere. No, it doesn't look like it. So we're gonna measure the glove. You've probably never really wondered how to measure a glove because you know most gloves say the size on it, as you can see right there. The way you actually measure a glove is you take a tape measure or like you know the the ones you use to like measure your clothing. Um, you put it at the base of the heel. Let me get a better camera angle. Put it at the base of the heel like this, and then you basically just go all the way up the index finger. So this is a 12 inch glove and it, you know, you can see it here because it says 12 inches, one foot. Let's measure the staff. So, huh, Paul. Hey, yep. 12 and a quarter or 12 and a half? I don't think it's 12 and a quarter considering it's an outfield glove. So we're gonna lean towards 12 and a half. And you know what? Something I like about this glove, it's not very stiff. I can actually close it out of the box and Typically, I don't like that on gloves, but this is such a high quality piece of hardware that I don't really mind the fact that I can do this out of the box. And that's not a hard squeeze either. Like I'm not squeezing it too hard, not bubbling up in the palm either. Like, look at that. No bubbles at all, no creasing in the palm. And I think it's because it's like a little thinner, but not thin in a bad way. It's just so different. From what I've felt on Japanese gloves for the Japanese market, they're a lot thinner, but they're just put together way better. So, you know, what you sacrifice in, in squishiness and like cushioning and padding, you know, you, you make up for and how like well the glove is put together. I guess the A2K and, and this Wilson staff are like on par when it comes to like build quality, but I just think the Wilson staff is way more comfortable. It's a little thinner, so it's almost like it's more ergonomic. It doesn't need padding for it to be comfortable. 
if that really makes any sense. Oh, dude, this is insane. Yeah, I'm definitely picking one up for myself for baseball. This is awesome. I know this has been a really short video and me just like talking and rambling. I was going to try and have a more structured feel to this video, but like I said before, I didn't really know what to expect when unboxing this brand new Wilson staff. So this has been kind of just me talking. Nonetheless, I am blown away and I will make another video of me breaking this in so that I can give you guys a much more in-depth comparison between the American A2K, the American A2000, and the Japanese Wilson staff. All right, so I thought I was only gonna make one video, um, just like reviewing the glove, but I realized how short that video would have been, so instead we're going to break in the glove as well. So let's get right to it. So even though this is only a 12 and a half inch glove, um, they still wanna use it for the outfield and softball. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it an even closure, thumb to pinky, but since it's a Japanese glove, we're gonna give it more of that form. I don't wanna flare the pinky out too much because they don't really do that, um, but the thumb I do wanna flare a little bit from the base here instead of at the end, so I'm just gonna grab here and flare this way when I get to that. But we're gonna start out by establishing our break points, which is gonna be right here on the thumb side and along the back side here, so like between these two laces right here in the palm. I gotta say this glove is really tight though made for japanese hands and you know they're a lot smaller over there so this glove really is tight like it really does feel like it's a it's a glove made for the japanese market as i'm breaking it in i'm trying to loosen up that pinky stall um because he wants to go tune the pinky so um it's going pretty all right for now but that's actually really nice but i'm gonna do some uh some couch catch rollovers um a little bit more mallet work and then i think it'll be ready so let's get at it Damn, bro, this hurts. Ugh. Oh yeah, look at that. Woo! Hell yeah, bro, that's awesome. Alrighty, so the break-in is done, and if you ask me, this is just about as good a break-in as anyone could ever want. Um, I mean, that's really good. But to be fair, this glove let me break it in really well because of how high quality it is. This isn't to say that a uh, Made in Japan A2K isn't as good, it's just it's a little trickier to break in because the padding is much thicker. Now, whether that be a good or a bad thing, I'm not really sure. It's really up to the person who uses the glove. I guess the thinness of the pads, but like the robustness of the build allows it to be broken in really easily, but it's also going to be a really durable piece of hardware. I just can't get over that. That's awesome. This is only from like 45 minutes of work. I've never broken in a glove in this well in just 45 minutes. And it's not like my A2000 that I broke in in 15, 20 minutes. It was a very different kind of break in. It still needs a little bit of work because the pads are a lot thicker, but just... I don't know, just the quality of the Japanese market Wilson staff is just 
leagues ahead of what's offered in you know the american market you know a2k is my favorite kind of wilson i like them a little bit better than the a2000s and again i'm not really a wilson guy i do prefer you know rawlings and mizuno over wilson um just because i feel like there's a durability factor that plays into it but i would definitely consider getting a wilson staff i mean this is probably the best glove i've ever put on my hand i'm not gonna lie i guess the you know the thinness of the padding allows it to be a little bit more ergonomic even though this was a tighter fit because it's made for japanese hands i still feel like i could use this glove in a game give me like a black colorway or like something tan and i would definitely rock it in a game i mean i can't get over that that's freaking crazy i've been getting so much support from the last videos i've been dropping so i i really really appreciate it guys so if you want me to keep it going please like this video subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys want to see in future videos thank you so much guys Oh my gosh, I, I can't, I can't get over that. I want a staff so bad now.